Welcome to Arthrax World this week, Arthrax News in Digital Space. I'm your host, Abel Matthews Alex. Let's see what happened in Arthrax Church last week. Armenian Church engages to protect cultural and religious monuments in Arsak. The Mother Sea of Armenian Orthodox Church has opened the Arsak Spiritual and Cultural Heritage Office and an archimandrite is appointed as its director. A presentation regarding the same was made in the recent meeting of Supreme Spiritual Council of the Church held in Iravan. The main objective of the office is to draw the attention of international organizations dealing with the protection of monuments, relevant state bodies, as well as the Indo-Church structures, sister churches, to the dangers threatening the monuments of ASAC, and to convince them the need for the programs aimed at their protection. Restoration work of the payment of the Holy Scripture Church begins. On 14th March 2022, the representatives of the Greek Orthodox Patriarchate of Jerusalem, Franciscans, and the Patriarchate of Armenian Church inaugurated the restoration works of payment floor of the Holy Scripture Church undertaken by the University Sepinza of Rome. The restoration and replacement of the damaged floor tiles and will take nearly two years to complete. Church of the Holy Scripture in Jerusalem is one of the holiest sites of all Christians worldwide as it is a place where Jesus of Nazareth was crucified. The main churches sharing the property are the Greek Orthodox, Roman Catholic and Armenian Orthodox as well as the Coptic, Syriac and Ethiopian Orthodox churches. The Coptic Orthodox Church celebrated the 10th death anniversary of Pope Shenado III. The Coptic Orthodox Church celebrated the 10th anniversary of the demise of late Pope Shenado III, Pope of Alexandria and Patriarch of the See of St. Mark. He served as the head of Coptic Church from 3rd of August 1923 to 17th of March 2012. In the liturgy, Pope Theodoros stated that today we celebrate a great Coptic escalation spiritual stature that influenced Egyptian and Coptic history. The late Pope Shenoda III, who was a lover of the Bible, of the monasticism and the monastery, and of the ecumenical relations with the churches of the world. Mob breaks into chapel in Sri Lanka, demands its closure. A radical mob of about 600 people, including Buddhist monks, broke into the Mercy Great Chapel in Sri Lanka and demanded to cease worship and the closure of the church. They threatened the priest with death as well. One believer was assaulted and was hospitalized. The intervention by police prevented further issues. The police asked the mob to leave as there exist no legal grounds for the closure of the church. Christians have been facing immense pressure from various religious radical groups in the country. Anti-Christian moves has turned extremely violent on several occasions as well. OCP YouTube channel conducted first episode of newly launched show, Creative Orthodox Corner. First episode of OCP COC was streamed live on 19th March 2022 featuring the award-winning box office hit movie, Man of God. Director Elena Popovic, producer Alexandra Porter, and son John took part in the live streaming. The movie Man of God is a biopic of St. Nectarius. The movie will be released in the U.S. this week with special shows on 21st and 28th of March in various cities. Check link below to book your tickets. The second episode of COC will be streamed in this week by featuring the recent release book Unmasking the Syriacs, the Hidden Origin of Indian Christianity by Jeevan Philip. Check our social media handles for more updates on the same. Finally, we are happy to announce the launching of OCP Podcast, first pan-Orthodox podcast. OCP Podcast will be available on Spotify, Stitcher, and Facebook Podcast. Check the link below to OCP Podcast. We continue to pray for the peace in Ukraine and Russia. Thank you for watching Arthraxi Cognate page. Hope to see you in the next week. Thank you.